There's a few other things you're going to want to do to the panel before you start using it. Um, the first one is you're going to want to change the temperature readings to Fahrenheit instead of Celsius, unless, of course, your country uses Celsius. Um, and the next thing you're going to want to do is tell the panel how to authenticate. And what I mean by that is there's three different ways the panel can authenticate. Um, the first one is you can tell the panel to only read wrist temperatures. And the second way to authenticate is to um, make sure the panel sees a face in the field of view plus read the wrist temperature. And then the last way to authenticate is to make sure the panel not only sees a face in the field of view, but also recognizes the face and reads the temperature. So those last two options, you can also tell the panel to um, see if the person is wearing a mask or not. So it's really cool. I'm going to show you how to do all that. So again, to get into the menu here, you're just going to hold your finger down on the screen for a little bit and the password's going to pop up. Just enter in your password. Go to authentication scene. And here is where you can change the temperature unit to Fahrenheit. You can also adjust the temperature range if you'd like. You can adjust the temperature alarm threshold higher or lower if you want to. And you're just going to click save. The first way to authenticate is temperature measurement only. That means the panel does not need to see a face in the camera. Um, it only is going to read temperatures. Um, so here's an example. Normal temperature. Please proceed. So as long as I have a normal temperature, it's going to go ahead and authenticate me. Um, and um, it doesn't matter if I'm standing in front of it or not. It's just... To read temperatures only, it's simple. Just check mark that box and then click save. The second way to authenticate is face detection plus temperature measurement. This means I have to be standing in front of the panel. It's got to recognize a face and, or I'm sorry, it's got to detect a face and um, it's also got to read my temperature. So it doesn't matter what face is standing in front of the panel. It's just got to detect a face. So. For example, if I try to just read my temperature, the panel shows me a temperature reading, but it's not giving me any output or feedback. It's not authenticating me. I actually have to be standing in front of it. Verification succeeded. Please check temperature. Normal temperature. Please proceed. To do face detection plus temperature measurement, it's very simple. Just go ahead and check mark this box and click save. The third way to authenticate is to tell the panel to actually recognize a face and read a temperature. Um, so this means it's got to have a, a database of faces entered into the panel and it's got to recognize the face before it authenticates me. So right now I have this feature turned on but I don't have my face added to the database. So this is what it's going to do. So it's not giving me permission because it doesn't recognize my face. So what I'm going to have to do is add my face to the database and it's going to let me through. So for face recognition, you're going to have this turned on and you're going to click save. And go back here and then you're going to go to user management. This is where you're going to add your face. Um, go ahead and type in your name or the name of the person you want to add. And here is where you're going to enter in your face. You're just going to kind of get in the center there. So it has me in there. So now I put my name into the database and my face into the database. Now when I step up to this camera, it should recognize me. So it even puts up my name up on the screen when I walk by it. Um, what's cool about this, you can be wearing a hat um, and it'll still recognize you. It's, it's very intelligent. So, Last two authentication settings, you can tell it to detect if the person's wearing a mask or not. Um, so right now I have that turned on, but I'm obviously not wearing a mask, so this is what it's going to do. So it did not authenticate me because I'm not wearing a mask. 
All right, now I'm wearing a mask, so let's see if it works. Verification succeeded. Normal temperature. Please proceed. Verification succeeded. Please check temperature. So obviously it uh, authenticated me there. What's cool is I have the face recognition turned on and it still recognized me. So it's very intelligent whether you use just the face detection or face recognition. It's still going to recognize your face. It's going to see if you're wearing a mask or not. Really cool. If you'd like to put mask detection in any one of these, um, any one of these last two right here, you just simply turn this on, click Save.